So Target recently came out with a newer perfume line called Finery, and this is supposed to be duping very expensive fragrances. As soon as I heard about this, I was excited to try them. So I finally got myself over to Target to try out some of the perfumes and I ended up picking up three of them. So I'm gonna let you know what I think. I actually have all of the things that these are duping, so I can do direct comparisons. I only picked up three perfumes. I believe there are nine scents in total. I do have a little sampler pack I'm gonna go through as well, which have a few extra scents just so I can give you some thoughts but the three that I have here are the ones when I smelled in store, I was willing to get a bottle of and really test out and see how I liked them. So for a little bit on price, these retail for around $31. That's what they are online. And uh, I believe that's what I paid for them to at Target. And this is a random two ounce or 60 mil amount. I really do like the bottle though. Overall, they all come in a different color, but they're the same design. And I've not seen bottles quite like this. So I like them in my collection and I like that they don't look like other dupe bottles that are out there. One of the things I do love about perfume are bottles. So it matters a little bit to me. And I feel like obviously they wanna keep costs down. That's like the whole point of these. They're supposed to be less than the perfumes they're duping, but I don't feel like the bottle feels overly cheap or anything. So I really do like that. It just feels kind of clean, maybe a little minimal, but not necessarily cheap. All right, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna, st I'm not even going to wait. Why? Let's spoil some stuff. So my favorite is magnetic candy, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, it's my favorite. I was so excited when I smelled this in store, I really enjoyed it. And this is a dupe, or is supposed to be duping Sundays by Byredo. And I thought that was interesting. I didn't realize Sundays was popular enough, I guess, to get a dupe of it. I don't know, I don't feel like a ton of dupe houses are duping Sundays. So I really liked that it was a little bit more unique when it comes to dupes. You know, I felt like they could have done Mojave Ghost or a different fragrance from Byredo, but I really liked that they did Sundays. I recently picked this one up from Byredo because I really really do like it. This is a neroli heavy scent. It's really bitter and it has some citruses in it. And it also has this really sweet cotton candy note in it. So I love this for spring and summer. And I'm excited to say, I think this is a solid dupe. It does not smell exactly like Sundays, but I have great news because it smells even better. I'm not gonna lie, it smells even better. To me, this is missing the bitterness, I guess, the kind of astringent quality that I feel like Sundays can have. This is missing that. It's not nearly as bitter. It's a lot sweeter. and why I love that is because to me, magnetic candy literally smells like to me, like seriously, I'm like, I'm not joking you guys. It smells like these two together. So not only are you getting Sundays, you're getting Baccarat mixed with Sundays. That is my dream. That is a combo I love to make with these two perfumes in general. So to have them all together in one perfume for $30, like get out of here. That is so exciting. So this is a genuine, just like love. I, I love this. I want to reach for this and not because it's cheap and not because it's a dupe and blah, blah, blah. Like just because I like the smell and it is nice that I'm not necessarily, you know, when I mix these two together, I don't even want to do the math on what that costs, okay? <laughs> I don't want to do the math. Let's not do it. I can just go ham, you know, with this one. So I am obsessed with this. I'm going to be wearing this all summer. And I feel like I don't think the longevity on any of these is amazing. I mean, the price, I don't expect it necessarily, but I feel like this one does stick around on me. I definitely get whiffs of it after I've sprayed it on like hours later. So I am very, very, very happy with this. I can see myself going through this bottle, repurchasing this. Like this is one I want in my collection for the sake of its smell alone. And I love, I love that it's a little bit different than just Sunday. So very, very happy with this one if you like Sundays if you like Baccarat and you're like maybe open to a Neroli scent, I would definitely give this one a sniff, try this one out. Very, very, very good. All right, next let's go to uh, a disaster to me or just what is this? Like this is not cloud. So this is I'm a musk and this is supposed to be, <laughs> keyword supposed to be uh, a dupe of cloud. And okay guys, I just wanted to put this in here. It's the next day. And I was like, I want to make sure that I'm a musk is supposed to be a cloud dupe. And I've seen other people compare it to like Molecule 01, but the article I read from the New York Post was saying it was cloud and that's where I got that idea. So I don't know what it's supposed to actually be duping, but mm, yeah, my thoughts are still the same. Anyway, okay, thought I would just say. What? Did they smell cloud? Because this does not smell like cloud to me at all. This is musky. And I actually think that this smells like a muskier, less fruity version, more of Ariana Grande Thank You Next than it does cloud. Like, what? Am I missing something? Am I wrong? Is my info, my intel wrong on what the dupe's supposed to be? 
This just doesn't have the sweetness. It has almost like a tanginess to it. That's what I get from Thank You Next. I know a lot of people like this, so I could see people liking I'm a Musk. Thinking it's supposed to be a dupe for Cloud, I just don't get it. I have worn Cloud, Cloud 2.0 so many times. If this was even remotely close, I would be able to tell you that, but no. No. There's again something tangy and for some reason also this has almost like a Flintstones gummy vibe. You know a Flintstone gummy it's like mostly sweet but then you get that weird like it's not savory it's a Flintstones gummy. It, there is you know if you've had that then you know. There's almost something like that going on and I really don't enjoy it so I'm so sad to say this is not one for me. If you're buying this as a dupe for Cloud I would not. I would just get Cloud. I feel like also Cloud at this point like I know it's very popular but it has been out a little bit and you can find this at discounters. I just I just think you should get Cloud. I know this is like half the price of what Cloud is, but I think it's worth it. I really do think it's worth it. And this is not close. There's other dupes, there's other ways to get a similar scent I feel like to Cloud than this. But if you like this on its own, then that's its own thing. Or if you like Thank You Next, maybe you might like this. Again though, it just has a similar tanginess and this is way more musky, less sweet and less fruity. So it's not even an exact dupe of this one, but if I had to guess from smelling this, what Ariana Grande perfume they were duping, I would not have guessed Cloud and I probably would have guessed Thank You Next. So I don't know. I just don't think this one was spot on at all. And this is the least like any of them to me that I picked up. So there's my thoughts on I'm a Musk. Okay, let me know what you think. Cause if you've smelled these, I mean, I know they've been out a little bit. I'm not like right on the ball in this one. Let me know what you think. Um, and then the last full bottle before we get into the samples, this is sweet on the outside. And this is supposed to be a dupe for Billie Eilish Eilish, which I think is really cool because again, I haven't seen much uh, duping Eilish at this point because this is newer, this came out like holiday 2021. So it's a little bit newer and I feel like most people aren't duping this quite yet. So overall, I feel like when I smelled this in store, I was like, oh yeah, I know it's duping that or trying to dupe it. So I think it's relatively close. Like if you aren't trying to spend the money on the Eilish one, um, I do think that it's definitely close enough. I don't get the longevity out of it. And I also, I find this one that it's a little bit more prevalent on the spices. Like it is nice and sweet. It does have a nice sweetness to it, but it doesn't have this slight almost creaminess and there's also a, a cocoa or a cacao note in the eilish one that i feel like again kind of gives it something a little bit like powdered but creamy and i feel like this is missing that just a little bit and then again the longevity isn't there so i think it's solid but i again i'm i am gonna say on this one because we're not talking about a 300 dollars perfume a 200 dollars perfume i think you should get eilish also i mean the bottle's beautiful so i just think overall you're getting a beautiful display piece you're also getting the original and overall Overall, I do like the scent of this more. I've had a wild ride with Eilish, I feel like. In my initial review when I got this, I did not love it because it does have a very sweet it's a very sweet, like high sweet vanilla to me. Yeah, the original is just more full body. There's just something about it. They did a really good job, but it's just not quite there. And it's grown on me. This perfume has grown on me. The sweetness has grown on me, the vanilla, the spices. Like I really feel like I enjoy this so much more. And again, I get really great longevity with this. There's something about it. It's like pink sugar levels of uh, longevity on, on me. And it also is very similar to pink sugar, but the vanilla spicy, version of pink sugar. So um, again, I think it's a good one if you were not wanting to spend the money, you like that fragrance, but you know, you wanna see if it's gonna be worth it, maybe give this one a try, but I'm not gonna lie, if you wanted my true recommendation, I would still pick this one over this. The only one in the full bottle so far that I can just say wholeheartedly, like even having Baccarat and having Sundays, I still want this in my collection. So those are my thoughts on the full bottles I picked up. I'd love to know any of your thoughts. Do you like magnetic candy as much as me? Let me know. Do you think it has that like extra little sweetness and like kind of airiness that takes it into Baccarat mixed with Sundays? I gotta know. Let me know. But of course I want to know, do you think sweet on the outside? Smells like eyelash. Do you think I'm a musk? Which the name, I'm a musk. I just feel like Am I missing some pun there? I don't know. Okay, let's smell the samples. I smelled these in store, um, so I haven't tested these for longevity to be upfront with you. But again, from my performance with the other ones, I don't expect these to necessarily last a super long time. And I don't expect that. I mean, $30. So this is before the rainbow. This, I believe, is supposed to be a dupe of Jo Malone's Sea Salt and Sage. I definitely think it's giving those vibes. That is not my type of perfume. I used to like it, um, but I don't really love it anymore. And based off my 
my recollection of that scent, I do think that it's very similar. This is just like a light, salty, aromatic type of scent, musky, you know? It, it's kind of like a skin scent. It smells fresh. You could spray this on sheets and it'd be really nice, you know? So I think it's solid. If that's something you'd like, I would go give it a sniff and see if you like it enough because that would save you a decent amount of money. There's I'm a Musk in this little sample set. We already know how I feel about that one, so we can pass. Next is Flower Bed. I believe this is a dupe for Chance from Chanel, which I knew that before looking up. I knew this was like a Chanel Chance dupe. I am not super familiar with that fragrance from Chanel. I can't tell you how spot on it actually is or isn't. This smells very showery, kind of soapy. It smells like fresh and kind of apple-y and sweet, almost like a Garnier Fructis type of product, honestly, to me. It really smells like you're fresh out the shower, honestly. <laughs> like you just stepped out of the shower or like you stepped into the bathroom after someone else showered and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> you could tell what products they use. That's what this smells like to me. I think it's okay, not really my style. I think I would probably go with the original. There's something about this that smells a little bit cheap. And again, I'm not super familiar with the Chanel one, so I don't wanna tell you how close or not it is. Like I knew what they were going for, but it's a little cheap to me. It smells a little cheap. Next is Sunforia and this one in store or I genuinely hate it when I smelled it. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, it's not what I remember in store. There, I don't know if it was bad or I don't know what that was about. I still, yeah, it's actually not good. Actually, I don't like this. It's in the opening, it was fine. This is more of that like, kind of astringent, beachy. I don't know if there's actually neroli in here or like orange blossom or if it's just the white florals or what. I just don't like this. And now that it's drying down even that tiny bit, it almost smells kind of stale to me or something like like someone's wearing Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, which is what this is supposed to be duping, but they have like stale bad breath and they're like hovering over your shoulder and you're like, get away from me. Like this is torture. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I don't know if it's like a woodiness, but I like woodiness and I, uh, 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 it's like on, I'm not gonna lie, it's like on the verge to me of like, there's almost puke around. You know that we can all smell that? Like when you're just walking around and you're just like, someone puked somewhere. Like I can't see it yet, I didn't see it happen, I just know. It's like right before that happens. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. If you love that one, it must not smell like that on you because no one would actually like that smell. So it must smell good to you and it must smell good on you, okay? I'm sorry. I'm not trying to offend you. <laughs> All right, the last one in here is Sweet on the Outside, which you guys already know, I think is pretty solid. So that's my review of the products. I did not get to try out the Lost Cherry dupe. They did not have the sample of that one in store. So if you're a Tom Ford Lost Cherry girl, Finery is attempting to dupe that one. So that might be something to look out for. They also have, I think it's called Jungle Santal, which is a dupe or supposed to be duping Santal 33 from Le Labo. I have Santal 33 and I, I just didn't want to buy a dupe. Maybe that's the one I couldn't smell. I think that's the one they didn't have. I did smell the cherry one but they didn't have it to buy. That's what it was, or I probably would have bought that one. The Jungle Santal, they didn't have a tester of, and I just was like, I already have Santal 33. I don't need to buy this. So if you've tried Jungle Santal and you love it and you have some thoughts, let us know down below. That would be super helpful. I'd love to know what you guys think. I just feel like there's a lot of dupes also out for that perfume. So it was just another thing that I was like, ah, I like the Dossier one. I'm sure people have found a dupe that they like at this point. I think there's like a YSL Black Opium dupe. So there are a couple other ones that I didn't talk about about, but I am pretty, I mean, I'm just happy I found a true love. Like, you know, I'm the type of person that I probably will always want the original unless the dupe is different. Like if I like the original, if I buy a dupe of it, it's really just a placeholder until at some point I do get that product. Do you know what I mean? Like, but Magnetic Candy has my true heart. I really love this one, genuinely, genuinely. So I'm glad I at least got one good one out of it. The rest, I think they're solid. I totally can understand people liking them. I think some of the dupes are pretty good. And then other ones, I'm like, I'm questioning, <laughs> I'm questioning. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts, so leave it down below. But uh, other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.